I met her on a Monday evening. She was standing outside of the parking ride, and I said, "Hey, ma, where you been? Been looking for a woman like you for all my life." And she said, "Hola, talk to me before I have to leave." And one day we could be maybe more than two lost souls just passing by. want to learn more about Mendeley, Turnitin, and Open Athens. Introducing the UPLB, University Libraries, online session service, where you can have a one-on-one -on -one instruction with your librarian. Just register via www.bit.ly slash UPLBLib online session and set your preferred schedule. As we accept the challenges of change due to COVID-19, we create possibilities to support your academic needs. Are you having trouble accessing and downloading full text content online? No worries. The UPLB University Library is at your back. You can request it through online article request service. Just visit library.uplb.edu.ph. And click request it. Then fill out necessary information. Or email us at universitylibrary.uplb.edu.ph. Connect with us on our social media channels for updates. The UPLB University Library is happy to introduce to you our new library website www.library.dev.uplb.edu.ph with easier navigation, a sleek new design, and enhanced site search and contents featuring direct search to integrated library system, new look for newly acquired books, New platform for chat with Elva or electronic library virtual assistant. Get updated to current news and events. Direct access to online article request service. You can now reserve library facilities for personal and group use online. Updated guide to new normal library operations and online services. 
video tutorials for online databases and research tools. Welcome to the new UPLB University Library website. Your gateway for academic and research needs. This is the UPLB University Library. How to protect yourself from the coronavirus or COVID-19. These basic steps can help you reduce your risk of getting sick or infecting others and help prevent the spread of flu, common colds, and other respiratory infections. Wear mask at all times. Practice social distancing. Avoid physical contact. Have your temperature measured upon entering a building or establishments. Wash your hands regularly. Use soap with running water. Use hand sanitizer. Use antibacterial wipes. Do not touch your face. Especially your eyes, nose, and mouth. Cover your cough with the bend of your elbow or tissue. Avoid crowded places. Stay at home if you feel unwell, even with a slight fever and cough. If you have a fever, cough, and difficulty of breathing, seek medical care early. But call by phone first. A safety reminder from your UPLB University Library. So, we are now on our fourth day. Grabe, di ba? Kamusta naman kayo? So, may I see some thumbs up there if you are doing well? Thumbs up nga tayo dyan. Ayan. So, I hope uh, that you've learned a lot from our previous sessions before that started last Monday. And uh, I hope also that you attend our last our remaining session for tomorrow. Okay. So, by the way, my name is Miss Ella. I'm a college librarian at uh, Main Library. And uh, before I call our university librarian, let me remind you some of our house rules. Okay. Here. So, ito yung house rules natin. So, number one. Yan. Ayaw niya na. <laughs> so, number one. Uh, please turn off your microphones and turn on your web cameras during the session. So, number two, use the Q&A box or the comment section for YouTube or Facebook. Or raise the hand function in the Zoom application for questions and clarifications. And then the number three, 
please answer the evaluation form after this session. So uh, don't forget to take the note, to take down notes because there will be a quiz after the end prize will be given away. So here's the link of our um, evaluation for this uh, presentation. Okay, so, so stop share. So to formally start our uh, session for this morning, I would like to call our university librarian, Ma'am Concepcion de El Saul, to give us a short message. Good morning, everyone. Uh, first, I would like to thank our participants for uh, in attending our fourth day sessions of our 17th information literacy program. So again, I am very glad that we have around 50 participants for the day. And since Monday, we have a great number of participants compared uh, to from our previous ILP. So again, uh, I hope everyone, our participants will enjoy as well as to learn the topic for the day. Uh, meron pang bukas, so I hope everyone can again participate tomorrow. Mamia, sabi nga ni Ella, meron tayong konting pakwis. So yun, very exciting yan. So again, salamat and have a good day everyone. Okay, thank you Ma'am Connie. So ayan, our topic for this morning online database and literature search strategies. So our goal here is for you to learn and make an effective literature searching by using online database and applying different search strategies. So uh, let me introduce to you our uh, first resource speaker. She is a college librarian at Post Harvest Library. Let us all welcome Ms. Vanna Ramos. So, uh, ma ako na ba, Rose? <laughs> pwede na mo. At, uh, pwede na mo po. Pero, Mas maganda uh, yata pag mauna si Ruth. Okay, si Miss uh, Ruth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ruth ay college librarian also at si Paf library naman. So, sige, Miss Ruth, take it away. Okay, good morning everyone. Um, let me just share with you my screen so that you can view my presentation for this session. Okay, so I hope everyone can hear my voice clearly. Yeah. Thumbs up na, yeah, okay. Yes, so, um, yung pong aking presentation, nabibu na naman ninyo po lahat. Yeah. So, okay, good morning once again to all the participants, to our new students, the freshmen, welcome to UPLB. And to our returning students, welcome back. And also to our faculty and staff here with us. And a warm welcome to all of you. So, um, alam naman po natin na hindi po uh, medyo restricted po yung um, visits library. So, for the freshmen, we look forward to seeing you uh, once po uh, pwede na po ulit tayo makabalik sa library, eh, ma makabalik sa campus. No? Um, so we are glad to have you all here and be able to share with you yung, the information about the resources and services that the University Library is offering. And for this session, I will Ruth, naka mute ka. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, for this session, once again, I'll be particularly discussing about the online databases with emphasis to the University Library Online Database subscriptions. Okay. So these are our objectives. So by the end of this session, so the participants, so you should be able to learn about the online database subscriptions of the university library and the online databases for specific college or field and learn about effective and efficient literature search techniques and strategies. So the literature search techniques and strategies will be discussed by Ms. Vanna later. 
So let us begin by defining what an online database is. So I took the definition of the two terms, online and database, independently in Merriam-Webster, for me to have an idea of what an online database is, since there is no singular term available defining what an online database is in Merriam-Webster. So putting the definition, yes, sorry. Yung slides mo daw ay putol. Ah, putol, sorry. Okay, thank you. For noting that, okay. So, can already see? Yeah, yeah. Ano, okay, very good. <laughs> Salamat po sa mga moderators natin na nagsasabi kung meron pong problema. Ayan. So, um, let's um, resume. So, putting the definition of the two terms, yung online and um, database. So, online database can be defined as a usually large collection of data organized, especially for rapid search and retrieval, which is accessible or available through a system, and especially a computer or telecommunication system, such as the internet. So the online database po natin, as a database, it is um, accessible online, so, or if you are connected to the internet. So another definition of online database um, is from the lawdictionary.org. So it is a web-based filing system used to store information or records accessible by using web scripts. So usually it comes with a fee or is paid. But you know, actually, there are also many online databases that are open access or freely accessible in the web. So online databases are very useful, especially now that our physical access to the library is highly limited. So having access to this online databases would be like having a library right at your fingertips. So to better understand online databases, so let us look into the different types of online databases which can be categorized based on information incorporated, based on scope of data, based on contents, and on providers. So let us go through each one quite briefly. So for under based on information incorporated, we have the full text online databases which provide complete text of the documents and are available for online viewing, printing, or downloading. Again, when we say full text databases, they provide the, uh, the complete text of the material, which are ready to be read and downloaded. So the examples that I have specifically provided here are accessible to us. So we are subscribed to this um, particular online databases. So um, we have the EBSCO host, research databases, JSTOR, Science Direct, Springer Link, Taylor Francis, and Wiley Online Library. So later on, I'll be um, giving you a demo on where you can find uh, the links for this um, online databases. So moving on, we have also the bibliographic database, which usually provides the citations or references, abstracts and index to published literature. So this gives quick information about the publications. Like, it will give you the title, author, publisher, or other information which describes the material or publication, but it will not provide you the actual content or the material itself, unlike the full text database, which uh, already provides the actual material or uh, that is downloadable or viewable. So an example given here is the IPP online index to Philippine periodicals. This is open access, so uh, meaning you don't have to pay to access the content of the data database. So later I'll be showing you what those are. Okay, next we have the numeric databases, which provide content that are primarily numeric in nature. So numbers, you know. So these are also known as the fact sources and non-bibliographic databases, which are mostly used for supporting business or financial research and can include organized numerical data, along with brief textual description and provide it access in the form of statistics, demographic and financial reports, stock market quotations. So examples of these databases are the, um, the one that I've given here is CompuStat and OpenStat. 
Compostat is not part of our subscription, but all the same, I've just included it for your information. So the one that uh, has an asterisk is not part of our subscription. OpenStat, on the other hand, is uh, freely accessible to us. So uh, this is by the Philippine Statistics Authority. So you may want to check that out. And lastly, we have the multimedia databases. So as the term implies, contain multimedia material such as images, sound recordings, video recordings, signals, and graphics. Again, we are not subscribed to, the, um, to my uh, given examples here, but I've also just included just for your information that these databases exist. Okay, now moving on for the based on scope of data, we have the multidisciplinary databases which provide content on a wide range of topics, kaya multidisciplinary siya, no? Or um, uh, it provides us um, various uh, contents on various academic subjects such as the arts, sciences, healthcare, business, literature, so lahat na po ng uh, disciplines, ano? So, um, also, this may, these databases may contain types of material or documents such as journals, newspapers, magazines, ebooks, and reports. So we are actually subscribed to many multidisciplinary databases. So the ones that I've given here are once again EBSCO, JSTOR, Science Direct, Springerlink, Taylor and Francis, and Wiley Online Library. They are all once again multidisciplinary databases. So now for subject specific databases, Unlike the multidisciplinary databases, these are uh, focused on a single academic discipline or a group of related disciplines. So they do not provide resources that covers broad range of topics. So the examples I've given here are accessible to us, of course. We have the American Meteorological Society journals online, IEEE Explore, IEEE um, stands for Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineer. So if you are in the field of electrical and electronics engineering, this database will be for you. We also have the ACM Digital Library. So ACM stands for Association for Computing Machinery. So this can be useful for computer science field or course. So moving on to the contents, uh, buhay pa po ba tayo? <laughs> Ayan. So um, moving on to the base on the contents, the article database allows one to search across various journals and magazines to locate an article or any specified subject. So basically, the content of this database uh, can, be, uh, or can be journal articles or magazines or both. So then there are also databases which are dedicated to theses or dissertations and are developed to maximize yung visibility and availability of research output. So examples of these type of databases are the ProQuest dissertations and theses. So currently we're not subscribed to this one, but the PQDT Open um, is an openly accessible one. So you can try to search this. Um, uh, these are um, free. This uh, PQDT open is actually open access. Yeah. So, still based on the contents, we have the citation databases, which provide a record of citations between publications, which enables a user to see which publications have cited which other publications. The such databases will also show which authors have cited a publication and how many times a publication has been cited in other existing publications. So citation databases would also be helpful for research researchers in compiling possible literature related to topic uh, to their topic or research. So a, data, uh, a citation database that we are currently subscribed to is Scopus. So later on, I will show you um, Scopus. So uh, this is actually um, different for, from our other databases in that it, does not, uh, it is not full text, uh, but it is a multidisciplinary database as well because it covers a wide range of topics. Then lastly, for based on contents, we have the online catalog databases, which is a bibliographic database 
which would help us search and locate materials that are available in the library. So we have our very own, this is the iLive. So for those who have attended the previous sessions, you may have encountered this. So this is in-house developed. It means this created by UP for our use, of course. So now for based on providers, we have the publisher or commercial databases, which may be produced by publishers or commercial service providers that sell their data or publications to clients, such as libraries and research institutions. So my examples here are Sage Journal. So these are known publishers, Wiley Online Library and Taylor and Francis. So we, we have others, actually, we have the Oxford, we have the Elsevier. So these are the um, publisher or commercial databases. So on the other hand, the institutional databases are developed by the professional associations or other institutions to increase the knowledge, promote research and developments of their concerned areas. So we have ACM. So I've already uh, told you what, um, what it means. Association of Computing Machinery and American, and we have the American Meteorological Society. So these are both professional associations, including IEEE. But there are also numerous institutional databases that are actually open access and therefore are again, free of use. So link to, links to those open access materials are also um, included in our university library website. So you may also want to check those out. So this, those are additional you know, good uh, materials that you can uh, also look into or um, yeah, consult. And then um, for this part of the discussion, I will be sharing with you the specific online databases for college. So um, this would help you in identifying where uh, you, you can start your research for a, for a given topic. So these are the online databases for the College of Agriculture and Food Science, CAFs, and for the College of Engineering and Agro-Industrial Technology, SEAT. So um, in here we have for CAPS, Acta Horticulture, CAB Direct, which is uh, also known as collectively CABI, kasi si CABI yung uh, nagproduce nitong ano, tong CAB Direct, sila yung may, uh, it's owned by CABI. Sage Journals, Science Direct uh, by Elsevier, Taylor and Francis. And then we have the um, Wiley Online Library. So um, as I've said, Tung Science Direct, Taylor and Francis, Wiley Online Library and Sage Journals, they are multidisciplinary databases. So um, some of your subscriptions are here, but again, um, our list of online resources or um, online database subscription changes. So maari din naman na, um, madagdagan nito or later on mabawasan, di ba? So, um, to have an information on the our latest um, subscriptions, you can always check the website and also you can follow the Facebook of um, the University Library for information on new um, additional um, online databases. And of course, you can also follow your college library Facebooks. And you can also look into your um, college um, library websites. So, okay, for SEAT, we have the American Meteorological Society, ASCE, and then IEEE Explore, Science Direct, Wiley Online Library. Okay, so for CAS, College of Arts and Sciences, as I've said earlier, ACM, so Computer Science, JSTOR, Science Direct, Taylor and Francis Wiley Online Library. So for College of Development Communications, Sage Journals, Taylor and Francis Wiley Online Library, College of Economics and Management, um, Sage Journals, Taylor and Francis Wiley Online Library. So again, um, we are not restricting your search to this um, databases only. So you may, uh, after you've exhausted um, searching through this online databases, you can also try to search um, in other multidisciplinary databases. If uh, you find that uh, what you uh, 
um, if you want to add more literature for your research. So these are the, um, the uh, specific databases for College of Forestry and Natural Resources, College of Human Ecology, and College of Public Affairs and Development. Um, for CFNR, we have the Cab Direct, Science Direct, Taylor and Francis, Wood and Fiber Science. So Wood and Fiber Science is, I believe, a journal. So College of Human Ecology, Oxford Academic, Science Direct, Taylor and Francis, Wiley Online Library. So if uh, uh, for College of Public Affairs, IPAF, Oxford Academic, Taylor and Francis, Wiley Online Library. So for CVM or College of Veterinary Medicine, we have the Sage Journal, Science Direct, Taylor and Francis, Wiley Online Library, and Hordes Dairyman. So for the School of Environmental Science and Management, we have Science Direct once more, Taylor and Francis, Wiley Online Library, and Springer Link. Okay, so lastly, again, for all colleges, this is um, another multidisciplinary database. EBSCO host research databases. Okay, so how do we access our online databases subscriptions? These are the ways um, if you are within the campus and using UPLB network or Wi-Fi connectivity, for example, using the internet of the university, you may directly visit the university library website and access the links to these various online databases provided there. So I'll be showing you later where you can find it. So if you want to access our online databases subscriptions at home or remotely, which is mostly the case now, so you may use the Open Athens. Open Athens is um, a single sign-on access management platform which will enable you to access our online database again remotely. So we have to be connected to the internet to use this um, online databases you know, and the Open Athens. So now let's go to the part wherein I will demonstrate to you how to use the Open Athens and show you um, the university website. Okay. So let's go to um, the university library website first. Okay. So um, this is the link library.uplb.edu.ph. So you can find our online resources here on the right side of the um, web page on the uh, home web, um, web page. So this is the journal subscriptions. So here we have the list. As you can see, we have many, right? You can see. So uh, those that are I have mentioned earlier are um, also in here. So actually, um, I have not given everything in the presentation. So we'll just go over, uh, try to go over each one. Okay, so these are um, individual um, journal titles. Okay, now, um, how do you access it remotely? As I've said, we use Open Athens. So this is how op um, Open Athen lo Athens looks like. So you have to have your own login credentials to be able to use this. So um, I've already logged in. So um, let's see. So in here, in this tab, resources, you can see the list of our online subscriptions. As you can see, uh, the description is already provided. So this will help you in um, choosing the right or um, the possible online databases that you can use. We have the ACM here, Acta Horticulture, I've already for um, the CAFs, or College of Agriculture. American Meteorological Society. We also have annual reviews. Niko to na banggit earlier. ASCE, Cab Direct. This is by CABI. We have also um, CAB eBooks for agriculture and applied life sciences. You may want to check this out. 
We also have the Cambridge Core, Chicago Journals. This is the EBSCO. Elsevier, you can access Science Direct here. So don't be confused. So um, usually the names of the databases are provided here. And then this one is the Horace Dairyman, IEEE Explore. So when you click on that, you'll be directed to the online databases. So uh, I've already pre-clicked uh, uh, some in the, on the tabs. I will show you later. So this is Ithaca. You will uh, be able to access JSTOR here. OECD library is um, for economics. Okay. Oxford Academic. Philippine Studies. So meron na po tayo ditong, ano, description. Philosophy, Documentation Center, ProQuest, Sage Journals, Scopus. Yan po yung citation database. So it is actually an abstract and citation database. So Springer Link. So The Economist, this is for economics. So okay, uh, Wood and Fiber Science. It is important that we look into the website. Why? Because um, the website has a more um, detailed information about our subscriptions. So for example, we have this advances in nutrition. If you can remember, it's not provided in the my uh, Open Athens. But you know it is there. <laughs> Why? Because it's in Oxford Academy. Again, in Open Athens, we don't put the, um, the title of the journal. So we put the name of the um, online database where it is found. So it is found in Oxford Academic. So you go to Oxford Academic. We have the Oxford Academic here. Okay. It's in this portion. So I hope it has been clear to you at this point. And so we look into um, uh, the online databases very quickly because the search uh, will be uh, the techniques on how to conduct search using online databases will be discussed further by Ms. Vanna. But just for any information, so we have here, this is the Acta Horticulture. Um, if you want to do a search. Okay. Try, for example, we're searching about tomato disease, for example. Acta Horticulture is um, agriculture reference. So we try to, oh yeah, tomato disease. So these are the articles. You can just choose, for example, this one. So this is again um, example of full of a full text database. Why? Because we can download the complete text. See, you can already read it, and then you can download it and save it in your computer. And then let's move on to the Scopus. So this one is again the abstract and citation database. So let's just use again that example. Tomato disease. Yeah. So for example, so let's look at our um, the result of our search. So this is the special feature cited by. So this is actually also a type of a bibliographic database because it only provides, it usually just provides the abstract and the um, bibliographic description of the material. Okay, let's go back. So as you can see here, As you can see here, uh, let's check. Okay, this one. This has been cited by two documents. So this particular um, publication has been cited by two documents. 
So um, this is uh, important for the researchers or for those who are already publishing, you may want to know um, how many are citing or who are citing in which publications are your um, paper or um, you know, uh, publication has been cited. So this has been cited by two documents. That's really, uh, it's really a nice feature. Again, yeah. again, citation database. And then this is, of course, our um, online public access catalog. This is our catalog. Um, you can search for our print collection here. So this is a type of a bibliographic database as well because it only provides the um, bibliographic description of our collection, but it um, doesn't provide the complete text. But it will show you the location of the material in our collection. For example, this is a thesis. Okay. It is um, located at the UPLB Main Library Special Collection section. Okay, so let's go back to our presentation. So I hope um, we have given you, I have given you um, a clear uh, view of what Open Athens is. So again, you can access Open Athens through your desktop, tablet, or smartphones. So you may request for your personal login at Open Athens by emailing the university library in this email address, universitylibrary.uplb.up.edu.ph with the following information, your complete name, UP email address, degree program, and expected year of graduation, but forward looking. Our online databases, sub subscriptions, again, may change from time to time. So some may be added or some subscriptions may be discontinued. So for us to be aware, again, we can follow the Facebook page of the university library and our college libraries. And of course, um, look at our university library website. And if our college libraries have their own website, you can also look into those. Okay, so for um, these are the, um, in case that you encounter a specific um, article or material that is not part of our subscription, you may request um, for an online article. Um, uh, this is our online article request service. So um, you may directly request that to our um, university library, but um, you may also um, ask the help of the college libraries directly. So um, these are the links. Uh, the links are provided here for each library. And these are the reference says that, are, that I used for this um, presentation. So, and this concludes my presentation. Um, thank you for listening. I hope you had a clear understanding about our online resources made available through our subscribed online databases. So if you have any questions, you may type them again on the Q&A box. And for now, I am giving the virtual floor to my beautiful co-presenter for this session, Ms. Vanna. So once again, thank you very much. And thank you, Ruth. Indeed, we are beautifully and wonderfully made by our Lord. Okay. So I'll be sharing my uh, PowerPoint. Kita nyo po ba? Kita nyo yung aking ano, slides? Yes, okay. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. Um, thank you, Ruth. Si Ruth po ay college librarian ng College of Public Affairs and Development. At ako naman po ay college librarian from Post Harvest Horticulture Training and Research Center. So kung meron tayong participants dito from Bicol, maray na aldaw po sa Indunga Boss. In Tagalog po, magandang araw sa inyong lahat. So let me know if you are still with us. Can you show me a thumbs up sign if you are still listening? 
hindi ko makita, ay may, may nakita akong, hindi ko makita yung lahat. So sa ating mga tech, marami po bang nag-thumbs up? Yes, Ms. Lana. Yes, okay. All right, okay. Thank you po for your responses and for letting us know that you are still with us. Um, before I start with my lecture, uh, gusto ko lang pong ibahagi sa inyo ang Post-Harvest Horticulture Training and Research Center headed by the newly appointed director, Dr. Dormita Del Carmen, and sa amin pong dating director, um, Dr. Elda B. S. Guerra. Ang PHTRC po ay mayroon ding library na ang core collection ay mostly on post-harvest handling of perishable crops. So in case meron po kayong mga pangangailangan about post-harvest, sa amin po kayo mag-contact. Pwede nyo pong gamitin yung, yung bit.ly slash PHTRC das online library. So yon Mga nanonood yata ngayon ang aking mga kasamahan. So ma'am, andito na po ako. <laughs> Hindi pa po ako artista. Speaker pa lang po. Okay. So uh, let's proceed with the discussion. So Miss Ruth discussed earlier about the various online database subscription of the university library. So my part now is uh, to share with you on how we go about our literature search. So before, before my uh, lecture on the tips and strategies, let me show you first this model or illustration. Okay, uh, so this is the information search process model that was developed by Carol Kulthau at Rutgers University. This model was developed in order to align the thoughts, the feelings, and the actions that students experience as they engage with the various phases of the research process. But my discussion will not cover the metacognitive part of the model. Ano, we will not talk about the emotions at baka magkaiyakan pa tayo dito or the thoughts that we experience when we do a research. No? Uh, I am showing you this model for you to visualize the stages of information-seeking process as you do your research paper. So based from the model, there are six stages of information search process. The initiation stage, this is characterized by the phase which one becomes aware of a need for information. And at this point, we do brainstorming, we discuss, we contemplate on possible topics. The second stage, we call it, uh, the model calls it a selection phase. It involves narrowing the information search. And at this point, we are weighing prospective topics against a criteria like uh, assignment requirements natin o kaya mga research paper uh, requirements natin. And at this point, we discuss possible topics or predict possible outcomes of topic choices. Um, we haven't pinpointed a specific reference yet, so we use general sources of references. The third stage is the exploration stage. So this is characterized by many options of topics still left to explore. The intent in this phase is to focus on narrowed topic. And at this point, we read materials about the topic and list or identify possible descriptors or keywords. So the fourth stage is the formulation stage where the topic or the problem is articulated and formulated into a specific tangible requirement. And at this point, we discard or sometimes we discard and sometimes we combine things to form a much specific focus. And the fifth stage, the collection stage, this is the phase of evaluating the available solutions and gathering information. And at this point, we search various types of materials and request assistance from the librarians. This is the moment when we already know the specific information we need. And of course, yung last stage, the sixth and final phase of the process is the action stage. It is also called search closure. The researcher will now act on the newly acquired knowledge and at this point, the researcher proceed to writing a paper or whatever output they will come up with. So that is the uh, sixth 
six stages of information search process. In the illustration, you will notice a zigzag, a white zigzag line which forms like a funnel pointing towards action. It signifies that as we move along the stages, as we get closer to the final stage of the information search process, the information search becomes narrowed down into a more specific information search. So the same concept of narrowing search results applies when we search for information from databases, doon sa mga databases na na-discuss kanina ni Ruth. In the case of our university library, we subscribe to various databases, and with the availability of these databases, searching for information is very easy. But those databases contain thousands of articles, hundreds and thousands of articles, which needs to be narrowed down for us to get the information closest to the specific topic or keyword that we need. So, um, agree ba kayo na ang dali-daling maghanap ngayon ng mga literatures? Thumbs up again. Sige nga, kung agree kayo. Na, sino bang nadadalian at sino namang nahihirapan? Pa-thumbs up sa mga nadadalian dyan. So, hindi ko makita kung nagta-thumbs up kayo, but uh, yes, napakadali po ang mag-search. Pwede, natin, pwede tayong mag-join sa mga academic social networks para maka-access ng articles. We can also search official websites kung meron man silang data or information na hinahanap natin. We can also use search engines like Google for scholarly articles. We can use Google Scholar. We can also check library OPACs kasi most of the libraries now ay may mga online catalog. And in UPLB, we have ilive.uplb.edu.ph, na-discuss na din ito ni Ruth. We can also search via open access databases online. Pwede din sa mga subscriptions natin. So information is just a click away. Ang mahirap lang po na part ay ang pagdating sa selection, when we get hundreds or thousands of search results, alin na doon sa mga results na yon ang pinaka-relevant na hinahanap natin na information at paano natin mapapaikli yung time ng paghahanap natin. So what we need is to apply search strategies that will narrow down our search results into a number of uh, into a smaller number of search results na pinaka-relevant sa ating hinahanap. So, uh, when, when searching information in databases, there are ways to filter our search in order to narrow down search results. We can use basic and advanced search. We can use uh, field-specific searches. We can also use Boolean search tools. Um, we can also use phrase searching, limiters and expanders, and then yung truncation, yung truncation and wildcards. So uh, let's go to the basic search. This is the simplest form of searching information. Just type the keyword and then click search and marami ka ng mga makikitang mga results nung search mo. And then when we use advanced search, it has more options. You can add several keywords. So I think you already know the difference. This was, this was already discussed in the session one of the ILP, na discuss yung basic and advanced search ni Sir Renz. So we will move now to the, uh, to the second uh, strategy. We can also, another way is to filter searches using field-specific searches. For example, uh, let's have a hands-on. Hands-on na tayo. So let's try uh, for the field-specific. So ito pala yung sinasabi ko. So ipakita ko pa din. So yung basic search, this one. So for example, uh, you want to search about rambutan. Uh, this one is the EBSCO Discovery Service na nakasubscribe ang ating university. So just click search and uh, madidisplay yung ating mga um, yung mga information about rambutan. So that's the basic search. What if we want to add some more keywords? So uh, we can use so dito, meron tayong 45,373 search results. So when we use advanced search, we can add other keywords. 
So kung ang gusto lang nating hanapin about rambutan is about packaging. Packaging. So we add another keyword. And gusto rin nating malaman yung aside sa packaging, marketing. Yung marketing ng rambutan. And then uh, we just add the keyword and click search. So uh, mananarrow down yung ating search results. Magigina lang siyang nasa 1,474. So pagdating naman po sa advanced search, marami pa siyang mga options. And ito sa baba. So we can also select kung anong gusto natin. Gusto ba natin ang mga ma-display na results ay mga full text lang? Gusto ba natin peer-reviewed lang? Or may specific ba tayong title na gusto? So yon i-explore lang po natin yung mga options under advanced search. So ito naman pong field-specific searches. So dito po sa gilid makikita natin may may nakasulat select a field. So ito po ay ano din um, ito de, ito ay available din ang options na to sa ibang mga databases. Ano? Nagkakaiba-iba lang po sila how they appear in the site or yung doon sa platform. So for example, uh, gusto nating gamitin yung field specific searches so ang ating uh, halimbawa subject dito and then ang gusto nating topic is about post harvest and then uh, may assignment sa atin ng teacher natin or ang instructor or professor and uh, gusto niya specific na authored by a specific author so Binigay sa atin yung author. So, for example, ilagay natin uh, Ophelia K. Bautista. Siya po ay dating director ng Post Harvest Horticulture Training and Research Center. Hello, ma'am. Baka nanonood si ma'am ngayon. And then, uh, pwede din natin iselect as a field. Halimbawa, yung uh, title, ang hinahanap natin is Post Harvest ng Cabbage. So, we type in cabbage and then we click search. So, tingnan natin ang magiging result kung, kung makukuha natin yung hinahanap natin. So, meron. Merong uh, sinulat si, uh, si Dr. Bautista on about cabbage, about post-harvest, uh, improving post-harvest cabbage quality using alum and newspaper wrap. So, she is one of the authors of the article. So, yun po yung kaibahan ng basic search, advanced search, and uh, ito naman pong ginawa natin yung field-specific search. So, uh, we, we have another uh, strategy na pwede nating magamitin, yung, na pwede nating gamitin sa ating searches. So, we can use Boolean search tools. So ito po, ito ay siguro ay lagi na natin tong nagagamit but hindi lang natin napapansin kung anong effect ng paggamit natin ng mga Boolean search tools na and, or, at saka not. So try natin na gamitin ang Boolean search tool sa Science Direct uh, database. So for example, um, ang inyong topic is about a disease. Halimbawa, specifically pink disease. Naalala ko to kasi merong nag-request sa amin na article about pink disease. So, uh, gagamit lang tayo ng basic search muna. So, we type in pink disease and then we click search. So, uh, let's wait for a few moments kung ilan ang mga ma magiging resulta ng ating search. Meron tayong 81,348 results. Um, Kaso lang, gusto natin, ang, ang focus natin is not only on pink disease. Uh, naka, gusto natin, ang hinihingi sa atin is pink disease ng pineapple. So we use, gamitin natin yung Boolean search tool na end. And uh, pineapple. So ang gamit po ng end is nina narrow down niya ang ating search results. Tingnan natin from 81,348. 
pink disease and pineapple. So it was narrowed down into 797 results na lang. And yun naman pong or, uh, halimbawa, dito na rin tayo sa Science Direct, halimbawa, ang inyong topic is about pineapple. So when we type pineapple, ang or po, kabaliktaran ng end, kung ang end ay nananarrow down niya yung results, ang or naman ay nabobroaden niya yung results. So kapag tayo mag-type ng pineapple, pwedeng ang, ang i-display lang is uh, yung mga titles na merong pineapple sa title or sa mga content na merong pineapple na word. So meron tayong 17,259 results. Dadami kaya to pagka gumamit tayo ng or. So gamitin natin. Kasi gusto natin ma-retrieve yung, yung lahat about pineapple. So baka naman yung ibang mga articles, ang ginamit nila, yung scientific name ng pineapple. So we, we try to add uh, yung scientific name ng pineapple. O, pineapple or ananas. Sana tama ang pronunciation ko. Ano? Ananas komosus. Okay. Pineapple from 17,259 results. So, ang magiging results na natin is 7,829 results. So, medyo mas napalawak, nakuha din, ng, na, na display din, pati yung mga articles which, which used the uh, scientific name of pineapple. Ito naman pong not, uh, balik natin sa ating slides. Okay. Okay, yung not, it excludes the second keyword. So, for example, pineapple post-harvest treatment ang hinahanap natin, not disease. So, let's type in pineapple uh, post-harvest treatment. So, yung, yung pineapple post-harvest treatment, so after harvesting pineapple, uh, Pwedeng ang treatment natin dito is uh, for the yung proper handling, uh, pwedeng yung proper storage, o kaya naman treatment on packaging, mga ganon. Uh, pwede din naman sa disease. Pero kung hindi natin i-cover yung disease, so we can, use, we can use the Boolean search uh, tool not and then type in disease. Para hindi na kunin pa or i-display pa ng database yung mga treatment on pineapple after harvesting, treatment sa mga diseases ng pineapple. So, uh, kung, kung pineapple post-harvest treatment lang ang ating easy search, so it has 1,066 results. So, we use the Boolean search not and exclude the word disease. So from 1,066 results, it will narrow down to 394 search results. So yun po ang gamit nung, nung tatlong Boolean operators, and, or, or not. Pwede din naman natin i-combine yun. Alimbawa, i-combine natin yung dalawang Boolean operator, operators. So pwede post-harvest and treatment, not busy. So we used two Boolean operators. When we click search, so we have, um, we have 5,741 results. Pineapple and treatment, not disease. Oh, mas dumami. This time, mas dumami. So, kung alin na tool ang, ang pwede nyo magamit na mas manarrow down, down pa yung inyong searches para mas mas narrow down, mas specific, mas kuhang-kuha, mas relevant doon sa hinahanap natin. So going back to my slides. So here. Ito naman, we can also use phrase searching. Sa phrase searching, we can use uh, quotation mark or bracket. Ang gamit ng phrase searching is uh, kapag naglagay tayo ng quotation mark or bracket, it indicates the retrieval of exact words in the same order. So kung gusto natin as is yung word na sinesearch natin, as is din yun lalabas. So let's try uh, searching 
using the SAGE journals. So, di ba uso na sa panahon tayo ng pandemic? So, uh, try natin, uh, naghahanap kunyari tayo ng articles on corona coronavirus. Coronavirus and migration. Okay. So, wala lang muna tayong gagamitin na quotation mark. Coronavirus and migration, click search. Ilan kaya ang mahanap natin na uh, articles on coronavirus and migration? So, pwedeng ang, meron tayo dito 1,307. So, pwedeng coronavirus and migration, coronavirus lang. Um, sabi nga dito, nakalagay, asa na yun? Okay. Ayan. Uh, meron tayong virus lang na, virus lang and then ma about migratory so meron ganun pero what if ang gusto lang natin na makuha is it ano lang yun lang uh, in exact order yung yung phrases so we use um, quotation mark corona virus and migration okay so, tingnan natin ang difference kung ganun pa rin karami yung lumabas. So, yun yung hinahanap natin eksaktong, eksaktong pagkakasunod-sunod nung phrase, nung words sa isang phrase. So, isa lang ang lumabas kasi isa lang na article ang meron nung eksaktong order na hinahanap natin. So, yun yung gamit naman ng um, phrase searching. Ito namang sumunod, yung limiters and expanders. So, uh, in every databases, in every database, meron silang uh, unique way or yung, yung kung paano na program yung database, kung paano yun ginawa para ma-limit o kaya ma-expand yung search results ng mga uh, nag nagsi-search sa kanilang database. So, balik tayo dito sa ano, sa EBSCO Discovery Search. Kung mapapansin nyo kanina when we do the field uh, specific search uh, strategy, uh, ito yung nakita natin. So, meron tayong tatlo uh, kasi nag-field specific tayo. So, tanggalin muna natin tong uh, Balik muna tayo sa basic search kung di tayo gagamit ng, ng specific. Ano. So, balik muna tayo. So, post-harvest yung ating sin, uh, example. So, I click search and then, so ang dami, we have 56,494 search results. Sa left part ng screen, makikita nyo tong refine results. Nakaturo ang cursor ng aking uh, laptop sa refine results. Dito sa... Um, Column na to, nandito yung mga uh, limiters and expanders natin. So, we can limit our search on post-harvest. We can limit it by full text. Kung gusto natin, full text lang ang mga lumabas. So, ito lang, may mga PDF ang lalabas dyan. Yung mga kasama sa subscription natin na readily available kapag gustuhin natin i-download. Or we can also limit it to peer-reviewed. Or... We can also limit it to uh, those materials that are available in library collection. Ibig sabihin, ito yung mga print collection. We can also limit our searches sa date, sa publication date. Kasi di ba sa ating mga researches, uh, mas gusto ng ating mga uh, uh, instructors na mas... Uh, mas recent ang gamitin natin. So, pwede natin itong gamitin as limiter ng ating searches. We can also uh, limit our searches by selecting the source type. Kung nakalagay dyan all results, so lahat-lahat lalabas dyan. Pati yung mga e-books, mga magazines, conference materials, electronic resources. So kung gusto mo na from academic journals lang, so you, you click academic journals. And we can also... Uh, use the limiters and expanders. Ang ibang mga ano dito, mga pwedeng gamitin natin yung subject uh, para mas manarrow down pa. So, ano ba about, ano bang gusto natin about post-harvest? Saan subject ba? Under biological and medical sciences ba? Under, under 
agronomy, agriculture, or phytophotology. So dito under agriculture, we have 7,931 uh, articles related on post-harvest. We can also uh, use yung publisher, kung may specific publisher kayo na uh, preferred nyo, gusto nyo ba sa Elsevier or from American Society of Horticultural Science, pwede din naman sa publication. Ikiklik nyo lang po dito sa gilid. Uh, kung anong publication, sa language, ano, if uh, kasama yun sa requirement sa inyo, kung language, sa, sa geography also, sa location. So, uh, ito, malaking tulong din to kasi sometimes ang mga requirements natin, uh, hinihingan tayo ng local articles, local and international articles. So, pwede natin hanapin dito, uh, Philippines. Kung may Philippines, then we select Philippines. So, yun po ang uh, gamit ng limiters and expanders. And in other databases, meron din po silang ganun. Ang, ang na-example lang natin ngayon, yung sa EBSCO Discovery Search. And then we can also use truncation and wildcards. So, what uh, we have to do is we enter a base word and then we use truncation and wildcard uh, symbols. Yung symbols na to, pwedeng asterisk, pwedeng dollar symbol, and or pwedeng question mark. So yung truncation places a symbol at the end of a word to find variant endings of the word. So yung, for example, yung uh, hindi natin bubuoyin, halimbawa, we want to make it open para yung variation ng mga masi-search natin. So polit, asterisk, it could uh, retrieve politics, political, politically, and other variant words. Gamit ang um, truncation or symbol at the end of a word. And then we can also use wildcard. Uh, wildcard places a symbol within the word to find variations on it. So after uh, one, once we enter a base word, we add, we add a wildcard symbol within Sa example po natin is um, yung woman. So we, we put asterisk symbol, uh, wildcard symbol between M and N. So pwede yun mag-retrieve ng woman or women. And sa analyze then so it can also retrieve analyze using Z na spelling or S na spelling. And then... Uh, so, yun po yung mga tips natin. So, going back to the information search process model developed by Carol Kulsaw at Rutgers University. No? We choose a topic, we decide on the scope of the literature review, we select databases, we conduct literature search, we review the literatures, then we compose our papers. So, when we do our literature search, remember yung white zigzag line formed like a funnel pointing towards action which signifies that as we move forward from the initiation stage of information search process towards the last stage, which is the action stage, the information search process narrows down into more specific information search. At yun din ang gusto nating mangyari sa ating pag-search gamit ang mga databases natin para mas manarrow down pa, para hindi hindi naman tayo sobrang ma-overwhelm, sobrang dami-dami ng mga nagsisilabasan, alina ba dito ang gagamitin natin. So I hope that what you learned today would make your future literature search efficient and effective. And if you have questions, please send it to us via Zoom Q&A box or YouTube live comment section. So maraming salamat. To God be the glory. I hope na itong activity na to ay, ay nakatulong uh, kahit paano sa inyong mga ginagawang research. So, uh, thank you, Ella. Back to you. Thank you, Ms. Ruth and Ms. Vanna for that very informative presentation. And now, I will uh, give the floor to Ms. Uh, Marge Aguinaldo, College Librarian also, to facilitate our Q&A portion. Ms. Marge? Thank you po, Ma'am Ella, Ma'am Vanna, and Ma'am Ruth. And good morning ulit sa ating mga participants. So far, hmm, proceed na tayo sa Q&A. So far, yung mga questions sa chat ay nasagot na. So pwede ba kayo mag-chat for more questions? 
So, habang naghihintay tayo ng ibang questions, first, mag-share ko na yung sa quiz para tuloy-tuloy na tayo. So, So, sa mga gusto pong sumali sa ating online quiz, pwede na kayo mag-join. Just please go to joinmyquiz.com and enter the code Ayan. Meron po tayong question. Do we also have access to plagiarism checkers like Turnitin po? Um, actually, yes po, meron po tayong Turnitin. I think yung isang session, um, ito po yung dinescuss yung sa Turnitin. So if you need an account uh, for Turnitin, um, email lang po natin yung university library para po mabigyan po kayo ng account. May ibang questions pa po ba? Share ka na po ulit yung quiz. May mag-join pa po ba? Siguro pwede na po tayo mag-start. Start ko na po. Thank you. 
So, end ko na po yung quiz. Congratulations sa ating top 3. Si Paola Dihan, Jeremy Valerio, and Carl Emanuel Blanco. Doon sa mga questions po na hindi po nasagot, email na lang po namin kayo. Medyo kulang na po kasi sa oras. Ayan. Meron lang po kami announcement pa. Please don't forget to answer the ILP session for evaluation form via bit.ly slash 17 PHILP E4. And in introduce po namin yung bagong library website na sa beta testing URL po ay www.library.dev.upld.edu.ph. So to further enhance the quality of our website, we would like to all to ask for your feedback by filling up the form via bit.ly slash UPLB live new website. Yung website po na to ay re-replace yung dating natin library website na library.uplb.edu.ph. So, ayan. And then, attend din kayo nung last session bukas. Ang topic bukas ay evaluating information sources. And before we officially end, please open your cameras for the picture taking. Okay. Thank you so much for attending. Thank you, Marge. Uh, Pa-open ang camera. Ayan. Okay, meron tayong four pages for the photo op. Ayan. Okay, ang refresh naman nyo. <laughs> okay, uh, just hold your smile. Okay, for the first page, uh, please, can I, see, can I see your uh, keyless smile? <laughs> In three, two, one, smile. Okay, this is for the first page. Please hold on. Okay, hold nyo lang ha. <laughs> okay, please hold. Hold lang ha. And then for, for the second page, please, uh, can I see your... A sweetest smile in three, two, one, smile. All right, please hold. That is for the second page. Okay, hold lang ha. And for the third page, can I see your faces? So third page. Page, I can see your uh, faces. 
can you open your camera? Kung meron for the third page, can you open your camera? Si, si Balme, si Marky, si Pino, Stephen, Sandra, Justine, Aquino, Encina, Joan, si Jola, si Francis. Can I see your faces? Para makilala nyo din yung mga kasama nyo dito. <laughs> Melissa, can you open your camera? Ayan. Uh, I think this is the last page na pala. Okay. Can I see your smile in three, two, one, smile. All right. Thank you very much, guys, for cooperating. And once again, thank you for your time. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. So, pwede nyo balikan ang ating mga sessions from session 1 to 5. So, nasa YouTube channel lang natin, UPLB Library Official. And we also have our Facebook page. Please don't forget to like. UPLB University Library. We also have our Twitter account at UPLB Library. At the same time, our Instagram account at UPLB Library. Thank you, guys, and have a good day. Bye. Bye. Ingat kayo Thank lagi. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 B